Uh, I just wanted to make a quick comment about the the one thing uh, I know about is this car, the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I don't know about that specifically. I did the Congressional Correspondents' Dinner. I've lived around Washington, D.C. for the, most of my formative years. I've performed downtown there a ton. And I will tell you, in terms of those, the Correspondents' Dinner, both the Washington uh, one, uh, the congressional one, I mean, uh, the one for the president's ludicrous for a comic to be there. Ludicrous. OK, both took place. I believe I, I spoke at the same place. The, uh, the, the, the probably may they may have uh, changed the, the room or did some rebuilding. But I uh, I worked that room uh, the, the, the Washington Hilton. Uh, it's a massive amount of people. Uh, they they really do not give a shit about comedy and they are judgmental and the room is a fucking banquet room. It is not a performance space. So for anybody to comment what it's like to be a a comic standing working in a uh, in basically a um, in a in essentially a ballroom, essentially a uh, banquet space, essentially not a theater, uh, which has got it, it, you know, the, the sound, the acoustics, the sense of, of being able to con- deal with the room in terms of sound uh, is it, 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 nigh on fuck impossible. It's 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 the dread in part of doing, um, uh, you know, uh, corporate events because that's the rooms you're appearing in. And it's they're awful. They're awful for comedy. They were not built for comedy. They're not even built. They're barely built to to fucking be to be spoke to be spoken to in to speak in to eat in. Okay, it's so ridiculous. The, the people who are commenting too on this is the Times at least sent a comedy critic. Okay, but the rest of them, sent, you know, somebody who's just there going, well, you know, he didn't call and didn't do. What do you mean, Colin didn't do? What do you know? about comedy and what it's like to do, to work under that kind of pressure. Because you got that, the room, and then you got that fucking audience, that judgmental, like, uh, Nuremberg audience. You know, what do you mean you're referring to? No, but it's really a highly judgmental group of people who believe that their sense of humor about politics is way, way more uh, accurate so, you know, they get it. They're keen. They understand it. Boy, you know, what you're not going to put anything over on them. They're going to let you know that they're not going to they're not going to sit there like this. And uh, so um, my, my uh, heart reaches out every time I know that someone has to do it. Uh, once I did it, I turned to John afterwards, Stuart, and I said, what'd you think? And he said, never again. You know, it's intolerable. It's impossible. And it's, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I've never talked to Roy about it, but uh, he probably, he may have had more fun than I did. It was miserable. I got some, I got a good few bits out of it once, once the pain had passed and my, and it was great to have my parents there. Uh, But whoo, what a night.